They say being a technical architect is not an easy task. Why do you ask? Because it's a kind of a balance between technical side as well as managing the business objective as well. If you are a person who is thinking the same thing or if you are aligned with the same kind of thoughts, well then this video is going to answer your questions about that. Because we are going to discuss about how is the life of a technical architect, how are they being paid as well as you will understand how is your professional career going to be like. With this note, I would welcome you all to Freshest Now channel where we are going to provide you all informative videos regarding your career and how to build up or ace your career levels. And we are going to begin with the introduction part of a technical architect. Who is this person? A technical architect acts as a bridge between technical as well as business aspects of a particular organization and oversees the design and implementation of IT systems. So as I've mentioned, is this role going to be very heavy or it's a kind of a risk role because it is kind of being in between technical aspects as well as business objectives. Well, if you're thinking so, let me show you the skills which are going to be easy for you to understand to begin your career. Objective C, cyber security, object oriented analysis design, sales force, big data analysis, anticipating and solving problems, communication skills and prioritization and time management, dealing with all of the pressure that you are going to get in between all of these implementation of skills. Now. These skills are considered to be the core foundations in order to begin your career. Even if you are in a mid-level career or even if you are a professional technical architect, you have to understand that these skills are going to be analyzed and well put into action. These has to have a practical exposure on a daily basis. To understand the daily perspective, you should also understand how is the life going to be or what does this technical architect do on a daily basis. The key responsibilities are as follows. Being a bridge between upper management of the company and the designers and developers who would be working for the company's objective, where they would be actually meeting the needs of information technology and they would be anticipating and identifying that are there any IT needs and design or portray a solution to those particular problems and they must ensure that the solution would be working efficiently and bring a productive outcome. So it is their duty and responsibility to make sure that whatever they are working with in the IT industry they would be managing, looking into the business perspective as well as reaching the objective of the company is going to be all prioritized by a technical architect. So if you are interested to become one, consider these points which are mentioned here. Having in-depth knowledge of enterprise systems, networking modules and software integration. You should also have knowledge of computer hardware and also networking systems. Alongside with that, you should also make sure that you are having much familiarity with all of the programming languages, operating systems and office softwares so that you would know and enable yourself to put yourself into that situation and analyze that situation, resolve it accurately. So this would be helpful as a core basic foundation in order to put your skills into test. Now along with these responsibilities and duties, there are some of the job roles which are aligned with that. What are they? Some of them are mentioned here. As you can see, the first one itself is about providing the company with design ideas and schematics, being creative and as well as holding on to the technical implementation is the essential part of the role. Having project managing skill, imparting the design and all the implementation of the system, meeting the software developers and as well as discussing the system software needs is going to be again maintained as a targeted goal on a daily basis. Now that you have understood the basic criteria of the technical architect role, you should also understand how you will be paid. Well, that's the main question of our career, isn't it? So we are going to step into the main section of the video where we are going to understand how these technical architects are being paid in India. Now this is just on an average basis where the data is from pay scale. So if you want to 
grow more, you should understand that you have to elevate your career with the right set of skills and certifications as well as holding on to a practical exposure of the skill as well. So with that note, you should also understand that you are not sticking your eyes upon the same amount which is mentioned here. On an average basis, 19 lakhs per annum is the pay given to a technical architect. You are wondering how is the professional graph going to be like? You can see that there are quite a few fluctuations in between from first year to year 4 or 5. So eventually when you land up to 10 to 20 years, you can see that there is an immediate growth in your professional life. And with that understanding, you should also have a right balance between the place where you will be paid. Now you might be wondering what I'm talking about. Here we will be understanding location wise pay skills how each city is paying their technical architects. 18 lakhs per annum is the pay given to technical architects in Mumbai. And next Hyderabad, 21 lakhs per annum is the pay given to technical architects. Now it is really topping off the average pays in India as well. And Bangalore, 22 lakhs per annum, almost like Hyderabad indeed. Pune, 19 lakhs per annum. Noida, 18 lakhs again. Almost it's the same, right? Now this might differ again from company to company and the organization or the place that you are in. Hence, we would be now stepping into company-wise pay skills. The first company is Accenture which we all well know about. 15 lakhs per annum is the pay given. And HCL, 16 lakhs per annum. And then Cognizant, again it's 16 lakhs per annum. And then we have come to the end of the video. So if you have any other suggestions to make, do place them in the comment section. Also, if you are a technical architect already, do place few of your faced facts in the comment section so that even others would know about this role. And I hope this video is going to boost up your career levels or even if you're a beginner, this is going to help you out to sort out how you have to step into this career. Thank you so much for tuning in and sticking on to the end. Do subscribe for more informative videos like this to Freshers Now. Thank you so much.